Hello, this is a video on one sample hypothesis testing, calculating the p-value. You are conducting a study to see if the probability of a true negative on a test for a certain cancer is significantly more than 24%. Your null hypothesis h sub 1 is p is greater than 24%. You obtain a test statistic of z is equal to 1.35, find the p-value. So the p-value is actually the area under the curve, which is separated by the given test statistic. So the question is, since the p-value is the area of the tail or tails of the normally distributed bell curve, how do I know which tail I'm dealing with. Well, in this case, my null hypothesis has a greater than. Anytime you have greater than, this means that you have a right-tailed test. Less than is left-tailed, greater than is right-tailed, and not equal to is a two-tailed test. So in this case, I have a right-tailed test. <clears throat> so that means my p-value, will be the area of this right-hand tail under my curve. <clears throat> so separating that p-value region from the rest of the graph is actually the test statistic, 1.35, 1.35. So anytime I'm dealing with a population proportion, I am dealing with the standard normal distribution. I am dealing with the standard normal distribution. So what I have to do is I have to find the area under this curve from 1.35 to the right-hand side. So I'm going to have to use Google Sheets here. I know that the mean is equal to zero for a standard normal distribution or Z distribution. Test statistic is Z here, dealing with standard normal. The standard deviation is equal to one. My lower bound is 1.35 and then my upper bound is technically positive infinity which remember to put this in google sheets we just put six nines in there put a really big number so i'm trying to find the area of this tail let's go to google sheets and see what we can get in google sheets you will go to the Compute tab. You're dealing with the standard normal distribution, so go to the normal region. Your mean mu is zero. Your standard deviation sigma is one. Your lower bound is 1.35, and your upper bound is six nines. Now look at your answer in cell E6, round it to four decimal places, you get 0.0885. That is your p-value, 0 0.0885. So p-value is equal to 0 0.0885 in this case. That is the area of that tail. This is a right tail test, so the tail is located on the right-hand side. That's how you calculate a p-value, specifically for a right tailed test. Thanks for watching.